YouTube. What up with y'all? So right now I'm about to head in Georgia, maybe three, four miles away from Georgia. But you know, um, that's not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is I was basically on YouTube scrolling around and I saw a guy said um rate per mile is all that matters and i want to talk about that because that's incorrect in my opinion and um why on this thing it looks like i'm over the line but um i think because my phone is on the dash and it's closer to the um passenger side which is the uh, right side so it looks closer to the right side but anyways um the guy said um rate per mile or, or um yeah rate per mile is all that matters and not the amount of miles that you drive and in a sense depending on how you're looking at it it makes sense but in some cases actually in most cases it doesn't make sense because I've done a load for a hundred miles for five hundred dollars and I have vlogged this one It's from st. Charles, Missouri to uh, Fredericktown, Missouri and on that load I've made five hundred dollars for a hundred and five miles or a hundred and eight miles and most it's a hundred and ten miles so just put it at um, Five bucks per mile something like that um, but anyways um the reason why I said that is the reason why I said it doesn't matter is if you drive only let's say for the week you only drive 500 miles and you make three dollars a mile for um, fifteen hundred dollars and I've drive um, 500 miles per day for the week so I would say that's what 2500 miles and I make um, two dollar fifty cents a mile. Okay, and I make two dollars a mile. Just say two dollars a mile for simplicity's sake, right? So two dollars a mile at twenty five hundred miles. That is five thousand dollars, right? Normally, if you say twenty five hundred miles and you def and you take out fuel out of that, I would probably make. Um, not make but I probably take 1500 bucks on fuel or 1700 bucks on fuel depending on how I drive so let's say I take out um, 1500 bucks of fuel simplicity sake again um, so I take out 1500 bucks of fuel so I make $3,500 and let's say for miscellaneous spending and all that good stuff um, so this is the Georgia thing it says welcome to Georgia so um for simplicity's sake five hundred dollars so that's two grand right um so now i've made three thousand dollars on twenty five hundred miles for me i think it makes more sense because um net not doing any calculator currently right now driving but let's say i net a dollar twenty cents a mile um, for 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 the net. How much wear and tear do I put on my truck? That that doesn't make sense. You know, I'm not saying that's good money at all. It's not. Um, you know, at minimum you're trying to net at least a dollar fifty cents to a dollar seventy cents or higher. You always try to net the most. You know, in my opinion, man, if I'm trying, if I can net ten dollars a mile that's what i would do but let's be realistic here most of us is only netting at most um two bucks a mile or you know a little bit more maybe a little bit less but you sitting down saying you're not driving your truck because of wear and tear and da 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 and all that good stuff that to me is kind of dumb because it you are not no disrespect you know but that's that to me is kind of stupid in my opinion because your wear and tear on your truck doesn't cost that much the major cost is fuel and maybe wear and tear is like 10 percent of your um cost because um in the same video the 
I did a oil change and e factoring the oil change in is weekly expense and I'm like um no you can't factor in that in your weekly expense you are you supposed to drive not supposed to but you sh they say you should drive or you can drive up to 10,000 miles on your truck before you need an oil change so you need to factor an oil change within that 10,000 miles and not for that 500 miles that you drive for 10,000 miles and that's what I see a lot of guys going wrong like oh for this week I've made um, six thousand dollars and I've done this this and this and da, 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 da and this is what I net nah I think you're doing it wrong I think for oil change you should divide that by the 10,000 miles that you drive and for a lot of all these um, um, preventive maintenance stuff you should draw you should divide it by the um, miles that is required to change or that the last time you change it so let's say you change it at 5,000 miles on your truck and then you change whatever item it is or part of your truck at 10,000 miles then you should divide the cost by 5,000 miles in my opinion that's what I do and you know that's why or that's where I get like a peace of mind knowing that um, a lot of these costs is not coming out of one paycheck. It's coming off, um, if you know, five thousand miles. Let's say that's ten thousand dollars. So um, a two hundred and fifty dollar oil change or a two hundred dollar oil change is coming out of ten thousand dollars, not the money that I've made for that week. You know, and that's my opinion. But anyways, back to what the guy said. Um, this always gives me deja vu right here. If that's the terminology that I'm looking for the fact that I see welcome to Tennessee then welcome to Georgia then welcome to Tennessee like okay <laughs> um, but anyways um, you know already on this route so many times that I know I uh, yeah pretty much know it like that but anyways I'm going to Florida right now um, and I just want to talk about this real quick get your opinion and you know see what you think about it cost per mile or rate per mile versus miles that you drive for the week um, in my opinion okay in my opinion the rate per mile that you get for the week kind of doesn't matter um, because you could get a load for let's say a dollar fifty a mile for one day and the next day you make a load for four dollar fifty cent you know it, binds, it, it, it evens back out right yeah I do in my opinion um, it even back out a lot um, but you know that's that's your personal preference or that's their personal preference but anyways man want you to like comment share and subscribe let me know in the comments what you think peace